got a M600 that doesn't power up. So let's try the uh, to see if the controller fuse is still okay. So the symptoms are you're pushing the power button and nothing happens. You've checked all the connections. Everything is good. You tested the voltage from the battery. Battery seems to be fine. Everything is plugged in. The display is plugged in tight. Everything is fine, but nothing happens when you're pushing the power button. It still could be a display issue, but it could also be a controller issue. So the way to test it is to have a multimeter, a helper, and of course, being in front of the bike with a battery that is working. So since I don't have a bike here, I'm using a power supply and an adapter so I can measure the voltage while I'm doing the video. But in your case, instead of like poking wires like this, you would just unplug and measure the voltage from your there. You got your plus here, your minus there. Make sure you got the right polarity and just measure the voltage while somebody else is trying to power up the system. So here's the test in question. As you can see, I got 54 volts coming from the power supply to the motor. In your case, it would be the battery. Here's what happened when you unplug the battery. As you can see, it's not powered, but I still got some voltage. That means the capacitor inside the controller still got enough juice and it's slowly, slowly leaking. If I leave it there for two minutes, it will be close to five volts. But if you try to power the display while the battery's unplugged, it should drain faster. As you can see, it quickly got down to four volts. That means the fuse is working. When you're powering up the display, it's actually drawing uh, energy from the capacitor and it's slowly draining. If the fuse was blown, you would try to power it up and you would see nothing and you could see 54 volts remaining. In that case, it's probably the fuse, but it can still be that this button is not working so obviously the controller cannot draw its power, but at least we're getting somewhere. We know it's either the controller or the uh, display. The next step would be probably to open up the controller and inspect the fuse. If you got like pointy multimeter tips, you could actually measure the uh, resistance between the fuse so if it's open circuit or not so hope that video helps you thank you